I believe as we approach Christmas, we again think and hope that we truly can follow Jesus Christ. And we can follow him in his actions, take his teachings on in heart and in mind, and do what Jesus did. Well, let's talk about that in our own lives. First, let's do what Jesus did when he took away the stone. What is your stone? Did someone tell you there is no cure? Well, that's a big stone. Take away that in your mind. Did someone tell you that you have a big problem and you have seen it with your eyes and your co-workers have seen it? Take away that stone of the problem. Only you know what is blocking your way to good, and so often it is a mental concept inside of our own minds. Take away the stone. Clear your way of thinking in a higher way, because healing is always from within. The touch of God happens, whether you have doctors or nurses that are so good working with you, the healing comes ultimately from within you. You have to have a clear vision of what you want and a clear path in your belief system. Second, do what Jesus did and lift up your eyes. When a person has a problem, so often, and I know this, they are downcast. Even in their body language, they're looking down and they have a hard time making eye contact with you. Whether visibly outside of themselves or inside of themselves, they are downcast. They're always staring down at the problem, down thinking about it, and down trying to overcome the problem. Lift up your eyes to God. Third, give thanks in advance. Jesus did. This is perhaps the ultimate faith, to know with Jesus that you are going to succeed. Give thanks even though the problem hasn't been solved yet in front of your human eyes. Do you know why? Because you have such a tremendous faith in God you know that with God all things are possible and all things with God are going to work out perfectly. Fourth, speak in a loud voice. It is said that Jesus spoke in a loud voice. If Jesus had whispered, it would have thundered because it would have been so startling to the people. It was such a new idea. If you are in the midst of negative thinking, even when you whisper inside of yourself, God is going to take care of this. It is going to startle people you know, and they're going to begin to have faith in your ability. Fifth, Jesus said, come forth. Jesus came forth. Manifestation will always follow the faith you are holding in your mind. You need to come forth, not stand behind the problem. And you will come out of your tomb that you have been in. Sixth, Unbind, loose him, and let him go. This is what he spoke about Lazarus. But this is really important for us as we seek to follow Jesus this Christmas time. Once you have gone over the mountain of your problem, your doubt, your fear, unbind it and let it go. Don't talk about it anymore. It is done. It is spent in energy. Don't live your life constantly reliving it or rebirthing it in your mind. It is done. 
some people never go beyond this step. They never go to the other side of the mountain that they have successfully climbed. Make sure you do so, because that is what following Jesus means. Merry Christmas to you and to your family. God bless you.